Hey, what's going on everyone out there in YouTube land? Today we're checking out a pretty awesome all-in-one device coming from Vaporesso. Today we're checking out the Amor GS and the Amor G. Now the main difference, well, it has a few differences, but the one big difference between the GS and the G is the GS uses a swappable 18650 battery and the G has a internal battery that you can only charge over USB-C and a few other little things that make them different, but we'll go over that in a second. Let's crack it open and see what you get inside the box. Down inside the box, you're going to get a bunch of documentation, including your user manual. And then we have the Amore. Check it out. This is a really awesome looking device. Comes with a drip tip, pod, and I believe, yes, you get two coils with this one. You'll get one pre-installed. Here's your second coil. USB-C charge cable. Really nice one, actually. And I think that is pretty much it. Now, along with having the G and the GS version, once again, swappable battery, internal battery, they also have a DTL kit and an MTL kit. The DTL kit is going to be more suited for direct lung, lower resistance, bigger drip tip, and the MTL kit is going to be higher resistance coils with a smaller drip tip, tighter airflow. So today we're going to be checking out the DTL, which is direct to lung. So the resistance on these coils are going to be lower and the drip tips are going to be more designed for direct lung vaping. Now the G has the internal 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is this one right here. This is the one that I've been vaping and this comes in at 113 millimeters tall by 38 by 28. And then the GS, which is what we just took out, which is the swappable 18650. This one, it's a little larger, 126 millimeters tall by 39 by 28. And they are available in seven different color options and six different color options. They are constructed of a zinc alloy body and they have this nice rubber kind of leather like grip that wraps around the entire device. And I will say that these look and feel extremely good in the hands. Here at the top, we're going to have a 510 drip tip. Now, if you're not a fan of the provided drip tip, I know it looks like a larger 810, but this is actually a 510 drip tip. Uh, you can actually remove this if you want, and you can use your own drip tip. So if you want to put a smaller drip tip or larger, it doesn't matter, but this is 510 drip tip compatible, which is nice. It does have top airflow control. You can see the airflow control dial right here. And since this is the DTL version, direct to lung, the airflow will adjust on this one from direct lung to restricted direct lung. This one's not going to be suited for MTL because the airflow is just too wide open. And also, since it is a top airflow tank, it's obviously going to be leak proof, so you don't have to worry about liquid leaking out. And the fill method on here is really easy. We have a fill tab located right here. And all you're going to do is just pull the fill tab from the bottom, like so, and then just swing it around and then drop your bottle of liquid down inside of there and fill it up. And I have noticed that when I fill this, it's kind of nice to hold it on an angle so you can fill it all the way up to the top. And then once you fill it, just simply press that into place. Now, when you remove this, make sure you remove the sticker from the coil so that way it actually works. And you're simply just going to pull that off. And then when the coil eventually goes bad, you can just replace the coil head without having to throw out the entire pod. So all you're going to do is just simply pop out this coil. Might be a little tricky at first. There we go. And they're going to include two coils. Now, once again, this is the direct lung kit. So you're going to get the GTX 0.15 coil and the GTX 0.3 coil. If you go with the MTL kit, they're going to include the GTX 0.4 coil and the GTX 0.6 coil. Now, if you're using a coil for the very first time, make sure that when you fill it, you let it sit for about five or 10 minutes so the liquid absorbs into the cotton, into the coil, and then that way you won't burn the cotton. If you're just refilling it, you don't have to wait that five or 10 minutes. So go ahead and fill it up and then simply just pop this in. Nice, strong magnetic connection. And these are the Amore G series pods. The capacity is five mil. They do offer a two ml TPD version, but these are gonna be the five ml version. And this is the one that I've been using in my G. So we're just gonna pop this in, nice and simple swing it around and have a look at the display. Now we have your firing switch. We have a wattage up and down button and we also have a locking switch on here. So a lot going on for a small all-in-one device, 0.96 inch TFT display. And it also has a pretty awesome LED light 
if you guys can see this on the side that lights up uh, when you hit the button and when you're vaping it. Now you obviously can turn off that light if you're not a fan of it. And it also has an animation when you go to vape it. And once again, if you're not a fan of that animation, you can disable that also. It goes between 5 and 80 watts. And once again, I'm a huge fan of the locking switch because it just makes locking the device so much quicker and easier. Now this thing does have a bunch of features to it. As you can see, we got all your useful information here on the screen, but to get inside the menu, going to be three clicks. And I think, there we go, one, two, three. And we got your settings, exit, eco mode, pulse mode, watt lock, themes. So if we go into settings, um, you can go to smart mode and then you can animate. So that will turn the animation on or off. The LED light, you could turn that on or off. The brightness is currently turned all the way up, just to check, yeah, there we go. One, two, three again, go into settings. And then, like I said, you could change the mode on here. Smart mode, pretty much what it does is when you drop in the pod or the coil, it recognizes the resistance and then recommends a wattage for you based on the resistance. One, two, three, go inside of there. It's got a bunch of different themes on here if you want to get into the whole theme thing. Nothing too exciting, but general, race car, and rim. And you can also lock the wattage inside of the menu if you want to do that. So set your wattage, lock it, so that way you can't screw anything up by accidentally adjusting the wattage. So it does have a bunch of features to it. And then simply to power it on or off will be five clicks of the main button. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now, both the G and the GS do have a 2-amp USB-C charge port, so you can charge both devices over USB-C, but just keep in mind the G, which is this one, is the one that has the internal battery. So the battery is not removable, 3,000 milliamp hour battery on the inside, all your charging is done over USB-C, and then you have the GS, which is an 18650, and what you can do with this is you can either pop the battery out for a new one, or you could just simply charge this one also over USB-C. And that's pretty much going to be it, guys, for the Amor G and GS. Let's jump back up and let's have a vape. So we got the Amor G and the GS. I've been using the G, which is the internal battery version, and I have been nothing but in love with this device. It vapes extremely well. Now I got the, the direct lung version, so I got the lower resistance coils running it at a higher wattage, and it just vapes amazing. Like the vapor SO coils are always, always extremely good. The fill method on here is super easy. All you do is just pop that tab open, drop your bottle in, fill it up. I like the fact that you can use your own drip tip, top airflow on here. And like I said, the direct lung version has enough airflow to do wide open direct lung or restricted direct lung. And because it is top airflow, it's gonna be pretty much leak proof. Nice solid connection on here. Really easy to pop the coil heads in and out. And the device itself looks and feels really nice in the hands with the zinc alloy. And this kind of, it's almost like a rubbery texture more than a leather. And it just grips to your hand really nice. And even though the device is small, it still has your full features like the firing switch, wattage up and down button, lock switch there on the front. Got these cool LED lights on the side. You could disable the animations. You could disable the LED lights. And it has a bunch of different modes. It's a really fully packed full featured packed all-in-one device i do like that it has a two amp charge port here at the bottom so you could charge it up regardless if you're running the g or the gs and like i said the gs is just a little bit larger and it's nice because if you have a bunch of 18 650s uh, you could simply swap them in and out and obviously the pods you know they're all the same they work with the both devices so it just comes down to if you prefer the built-in battery or the swappable battery but i will say that this is probably one of my favorite devices from vaporesso in a while i've been loving this thing really enjoying it and i will continue to enjoy it and i will say it actually looks really good like whoever did the designing on this and the colors did an amazing job like it looks like a pretty cool device that's pretty much it, guys, for the Amor G and GS. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys build safe, and as always, vape on.